Alright, so recently I was thinking about how I was like when I first started self-improvement. And I remember being in this like frustrating stage that you might be in where you're watching self-improvement videos, you know what to do, like you know delayed gratification, you kind of understand the concepts, but you just can't do it. There are many names for this stage, the self-improvement depression, the stage one of self-improvement. I like to just call it all information, no action. So you have the information, you know what you should be doing, but you just can't do it. Maybe you do it for like a day or two, but then you always slink back to just watching videos again. And because of this, and because of how frustrating it is, people like develop this mindset, this belief in their brain that consuming content without taking action is a bad thing. And I used to believe this, and I kind of believe this still, because if you watch my video and you don't take action, I've not really helped you. And that is why I say take action at the end of every single video, because if you don't, I didn't really change your life that much. But what I didn't realize is that my life only started to change when I consumed the content. But I consume content different from how other people consume content. And I haven't heard anyone talk about this like a right way to consume content before. So if you're in this stage of self-improvement, here's the right way to consume content. And here's how to get out of this stage ASAP. So basically like the foundation of everything here is you are what you consume the same way that you are what you eat so you know when someone calls you a pussy just say yep you are what you eat like basically what you have to understand is that whatever videos you see like if you minimize this video and you look at the side and you see all the recommended videos that is just a reflection of your personality so when i was a gamer all the videos there would be gaming videos but then when i slowly started to get more into self-improvement the videos slowly shifted to self-improvement so since these things are like reflections of each other why not consume content that changes you to be the person that you want to be right so this is the mindset that i had when it comes to consuming content and it's not really special but i've never heard anyone say it specifically in this way the right way to consume content is to only consume content from people that you want to be more like because we all know the quote you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with but the overpowered thing is that nowadays that can apply to people online the issue is that most people consume brain dead shit so if you consume brain dead content then you become brain dead as well so like this five person rule can either completely destroy you which is like 90% of people this five person rule makes them worse because the people that they spend time with is not people they want to be like or if you're like the very small percent that actually consumes like good content then you're gonna become better by consuming content so it's not really like content equals bad it's more like it depends on what content you consume because i know it sounds crazy but like one of those five people in your life could literally be like elon musk if you watch enough interviews if you watch enough podcasts and if you're like kind of in this period of your life where you don't have many friends because you're kind of focusing on yourself genuinely one of those people could be elon musk obviously i'm not saying that if you just watch one andrew tate podcast tomorrow you'll wake up with a lamborghini in your driveway you gain like 20 pounds of muscle overnight and you also lost all your hair what i'm saying is that by watching something it creates an internal change and then that internal change changes your behavior and that behavior is what gets you the results so it's like a line of dominoes the first domino is the internal change the second domino is the behavior and the third domino is the results but then a lot of people think oh if you watch the video but you don't take action then you don't get the third domino so you shouldn't even push the first domino because you won't get the third one but that's not really true because it takes a while for the first domino to fall it can take weeks or months for internal changes to show up in your real life behavior so if you're in this stage of self-improvement where you're kind of just watching videos but not taking action just know that this is normal like it happened to me as well it will take a while for these internal beliefs to start showing up in your daily life for some people it'll take weeks for me it took like five to six months so it's not that nothing is happening right now it's just that it's all internal so you can't see it and the mindset that i have is like even if you don't take action right away it's not really the action that we're looking for it's for you to become more like them it's for you to like kind of recalibrate your brain to be more like the successful person that you want to be like another benefit about consuming content is like the length of time that you spend thinking about one concept and this is why like i don't like youtube shorts this is why i don't post youtube shorts it's because you watch it and then you kind of forget about it even if the concept is a good concept like discipline or something you watch it and then you forget about it because you didn't have enough time to really let it resonate and like sink in like in contrast it can take you two weeks to read a book like just two weeks on one concept and that's really the main benefit of reading books because it's not about really the book it's about the amount of time that you have to dedicate the amount of thoughts they have to dedicate to this one thing and the same thing is true for long form content so for you to visualize this let's say that one minute of your time equals to one dollar and this will make sense soon don't worry so for example let's say you watch a youtube short which is less than a minute long so you spend less than a dollar right and no matter how good it is 
you don't really feel like it's an investment because it's less than a dollar, so you don't take it seriously. But now imagine you gotta watch a two hour long podcast. Like for me, I gotta block out my whole fucking afternoon to do that, bro. If one minute equals one dollar, then this podcast is like a hundred and twenty dollar investment. And because it's a bigger investment, like I just take it more seriously. I get my popcorn out, I get my fucking notepad, and I listen more attentively. And because of that, I get more out of the podcast. So simply put, small investment of time equals small return. Big investment of time equals bigger return. So at the end of the day, it sounds super simple, but if you want more out of something, spend more time thinking about it. Spend more time doing it. That's that's really how you learn and embed it into your brain. Like for example, right, this book, the, the gist of this book, the whole book summarized is just the important work is important. That's it. Like, that's all, that's all the book says. But if I just said to you that, yup, the important work is important, if you're a student and studying is probably important, you'd be like, yeah, okay. It doesn't really resonate with you. But if you spend like an entire week thinking about this one concept and you're reading examples and stories and you're looking at graphs and charts and everything, at the end of the week, you're like, damn, the important work is important. Oh my god. Simply put, the more that you think about it, the more it gets integrated into your life. Even if it's not in the real world, even if nothing's happening, even if you're not taking action, if you're just thinking about it, it's gonna be put in your brain. And later on, it will compound to you taking action. So like the way that my videos work, if you're curious, is that I will watch a podcast, I will look at an interview, I will read a book, I'll consume like some sort of good content. And then, for example, takes you around like what two weeks to finish a book if you're like constantly reading but does it take you two weeks to explain the concept to somebody else obviously not right you could explain the core concept of the book in five to ten minutes so that's what i do i explain it in five to ten minutes in a way that i understand like normal person speak like if you watch a andrew huberman podcast he uses very complex language he's like from this study in 2017 you can really tell that the neurons from the dopamine receptors really photosynthesize with the embellishment of the f and then i'm over here like dopamine bad delayed gratification yeah so yeah i just talk like a normal person i turn on the camera for like 15 to 20 minutes and i just speak and then some of it's good some of it's bad so that's why you have the power of editing so you can just remove like the bad parts and then keep in the good parts and i just filter it until i have like the core message really down i give it to my editors and they just finish it off and make it look really nice so yeah and like a tip if you're like into public speaking or something instead of talking to a crowd i don't imagine myself talking to a hundred thousand people i just imagine myself talking to one person so like i've never said you guys you know i say you i don't say hi guys welcome back to my youtube i don't say that right <laughs> i don't speak to an audience i don't speak to a camera i speak to just one person i speak to just you just like soldier boy you so if you're like me and the main place you get your content is youtube because you're not a fucking dumbass on tiktok just fucking most people realize that the people they watch are fucking stupid like they just realize like yeah they're entertaining they're funny and i like to watch them do stupid shit but i don't actually want to be more like them but the issue is whether you want to be more like them or you don't want to be more like them if you watch their content every day you will be more like them it's not really a choice at that point like that's why i take the content that i watch so seriously like you may think the pentagon is the most you know secure place in the world or like a high-tech prison is the most secure place in the world nah bro the most secure place in the world is my fucking subscription box nothing can enter my subscription box bro i'm not letting some bullshit enter it it's like the people that you consume the people that you watch the people you spend your time with is like a ramen dish each person has like a different flavor you know this guy teaches you studying this guy teaches you discipline this guy teaches you uh, arts or something and then you have this beautiful dish would you even put like a drop of piss into ramen and be like yep no it's okay i can, I can have one entertainment channel no because if you put a drop of piss into it it's just all fucked up so yeah that's why i take the people that i watch so seriously and obviously i know i'm extreme in this like scenario but would you put piss into ramen no so genuinely ask yourself if in like your subscription box which one is the ramen which one's the piss get rid of the piss <laughs> such a fucking stupid stupid analogy bro and i hope you can see that that like, i'm sacrificing a little bit here because i'm asking you to look at the channels to subscribe to you might be subscribed to me you keep on learning from these few people and be okay to not take action because learning without taking action is still just learning you will still have like the concept in your brain that you can like cash out later and you can use it later on so really at the end of the day you are what you consume so take advantage of that stop consuming from brain dead people start consuming from people that you actually want to be more like and like yeah we want to take action that's great but like if you don't know what action to take then there's no point so first learn implant the thought of what action to take and then take action boom
you know, the gist of the whole video was basically just good content, good. Bad content, bad. Whoa. Yo, it's editing rough here because I forgot to give you the kiss. So uh, yeah, go clear your subscription box of the piss. Like, would you eat ramen with even a drop of piss? No, right? Exactly. All right, give me a. I won't say give me a piss instead of saying give me a kiss. <laughs> Don't do that, bro. That's fucking vile. I'm gonna walk outside and someone's gonna start pissing on me. Alright, give me a kiss. Mwah. Piss.